hi guys welcome back to my channel so i haven't posted in a while and i just wanted to apologize for that um i work three jobs and i'm working full time at all of them now so i am working seven days a week so it's a little bit difficult to get some time in but i've just got home from work as you can tell by the crustiness of my face and i'm going to do a quick tutorial on some type of look i'll just see how it goes and on that note let's get right into it so first of all i've got to get all this away from my face as you can tell it's a different color well i don't know can you tell i'm just gonna shove it in like a ponytail or something whatever it decides to do because i have a lot of this stuff and yes it's all real i grew this for about 15 years because my mum used to cut my hair in bobs so I can't part with this but you know right so now that my hair is tied back I'm going to start off with the eyebrows and I obviously as you can if you've watched my previous video I use the Maybelline tattoo brow stuff because it stays on forever and it's so good I strongly recommend I only use a tiny weenie bit because I naturally have very dark eyebrows and I don't really want to walk around with sharpie brows so I'm gonna get to that if you see this it's just my mirror whoa there's two of me hello um if you do see this I'm trying so hard not to block the view but i have to hold the mirror i can't have it like here i don't know why it just it's more comfortable for me i guess but anyways eyebrows right so now that my caterpillars are on i'm going to use this concealer no wrong concealer let me find it first i found it this concealer, because I ran out of my e.l.f. concealer, this is Maylee, this word, thanks ring light, you're amazing, M-A-E with two dots on it, double L-E, I don't know what shade it is, but it's not dark if that makes sense, because I don't like concealer that's too dark for my eyebrows, so yeah, I'm going to start concealing. So I don't know if anyone's like, I don't know, but I'm filming a TikTok as well. Like I'm in the process of feeling, filming a TikTok. So I'm like trying to go through, go between this and TikTok and it's a lot of work. I won't lie. But um, I think it's just more work because I've been at work. So I've been working all weekend, seven days a week live. Yay. But um yeah so i'm obviously putting this concealer on with a brush because see the thing is i'm i love beauty blenders but brushes just they just work better for me like obviously everyone's got their own preference mine is brushes so yeah i'm gonna do a i've decided what look i'm gonna do as well i'm gonna do a pink like winged out look and then i'm gonna do yellow here like a luminous yellow and then i'm gonna use pink like little pink gems and go around my cut crease it will come together it, it, i don't know but yeah let's get into it so you've all seen my Beauty Bay palette. I'm gonna use the color Make Them Wink and it is this lovely pink shade, which I'm going to put all over the crease and I'm gonna wing it out too. I forgot to mention, I'm gonna like do a sunset blend up top because pink for me, just I prefer to blend it out with like yellows and stuff because it just makes it look prettier. But everyone has their own preference like i said so i'm just gonna put this out in a wing pack it on there so we've got some nice pigment make sure the wing is on fleek and yes so i blended it out a bit off camera because that takes time it didn't take that much time but um I got a text from my boyfriend, he's getting me KFC because he's been out to see his auntie for his birthday for her birthday, not his birthday and um, I obviously had to work so I'm not really eating, I had an egg sandwich but that's about it so yeah, let's get, let's carry on with this I'm, get, I'm gonna use the 
the shade Tangerine Dream because it's a little bit lighter than the other one. And I'm going to blend that above the pink. I'm not going to use like loads because obviously I haven't got a lot of eye space. I don't think I do anyway, do I? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. And also, in my um, previous video, I called it a bio. It's a description. I completely forgot about that. So I apologise. I will put my Instagram and that in my description. Once I've obviously finished editing this lovely video. Now that I've blended out... Sorry. Now that I've blended out the orange, I'm going to use the shade Hello Young. Hello, Yunshine. Hello, Sunshine. I was going to say yellow and sunshine at the same time. Sorry about that. And I'm going to put that right on the top. And I'm going to use a clean brush after this and blend all this out so it doesn't look as messy as it does right now. And like I said, trust the process. Trust the process. It works out in the end. Unless it doesn't work, then I'm sorry. Also, can I just say... When your boyfriend supports the fact that you love putting loads of random colours on your face, that's how you know you've got a keeper. Because I will do stuff like this and he will literally say it's perfect. And I know when there's something not right with my makeup and I say to him like, oh, this bit's uneven. And he's like, are you kidding me? Like, it's amazing. And I always say to him, you're just saying that because you're my boyfriend, you have to. And he's like, no, I genuinely think that you are really talented and I uh, get compliments by strangers sometimes and I know that sounds really big headed but I love when people notice that I enjoy doing makeup because I go out in looks like this because I don't care if I want to spend hours doing makeup I want people to see that I spent hours doing my makeup and if anyone feels ashamed or embarrassed to go out wearing bright pink on their eyelids please talk to me because Everyone deserves to express themselves and it's not fair that people are saying that oh you're wearing too much makeup and all that shizzle because it's just I wear as much makeup as I want and I don't just spend hundreds of pounds for you, for you to say that I can't can't wear it. And it, it sounds like I just swore. I'm so sorry. Anyways, um I've got a clean brush now and I'm just going to quickly clean this up. Because I always make a mess when I do makeup. Don't know why. There was a point, oh my word. I have these gorgeous um, glitters. I have some in here. And I spilt a whole pot of glitter on the carpet. And I had to sit there picking them up individually. And it was so depressing. Because I love that glitter and I love the girl that sells them. Her name is Emily. You can follow her on Instagram too. I'll put her Instagram in my description and her she sells lashes and glitters so i'll put that instagram down there too and she has a website and a depot so yeah i'm gonna make sure you all have a look they're affordable extremely affordable and they're really cute and i've made a i've done a couple looks using her lashes and stuff and i'm going to use her lashes today and in fact they're in my name so yeah I'm just gonna blend this out quick, sorry. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I got a new phone. I have an iPhone 11 now. Um, I've blended it out. It looks awful on here, but I promise you it's blended through my mirror. So I'm now going to cut my crease using the same concealer I used to prime my eye because actually I might use my other one. I've got a Maybelline one somewhere, if I can find it. I've got two. <coughs> I've got two actually, but I just lose everything so quickly. Right, I found it. It is the Maybelline 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 Fit Me Concealer in the shade ten, apparently. It's pretty dark, but what I do is I just use it to cut my crease, just so that like you don't see it because it's pretty dark like that's i don't know is that dark or i don't know but i don't do foundation can you tell um this isn't even foundation but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna swipe it where my eyelashes would go and look up and that's where my crease is but i'm gonna cut mine a bit higher because i have hooded eyes and i want people to see what i did with my face 
Right, so now that I've got the rough outline, I'm just gonna use a Huggies baby wipe. Don't come at me, I don't have makeup wipes right now. Or um, earbuds, people call them Q-tips. So yeah, I don't have Q-tips to um, wipe off the excess. So I'm just gonna use a baby wipe. Please don't attack me. I am sorry, I know this is probably bad for my skin. I will get better, I promise. I'm just gonna take this off and then put some P. Louise base on it. I use the white one. I don't know why. I just prefer the white one. But yeah, be back in a minute. Right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna grab my P. Louise white base and I'm gonna stick that where I wiped everything off. So yeah, give me a sec. P. Louise base is on and I'm now going to go back in with that yellow. So I can do that beautiful highlighter pencil, highlighter pencil, highlighter pen look. Going back to school, stationary kit type of, type of look. I wish I knew how to speak English, honestly. So I've packed the yellow one and I've changed my mind on what I'm going to do with the cut crease. I'm going to use an orange to cut my crease. We'll see. So I put the orange glitter on and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. I've also done my waterline, but I'm thinking I might do a sunset eyeliner. So I did it and I decided to use some white eyeliner to outline and I'm quite happy with it. So I'm just going to shove some lashes on now, I think, and then I'm going to do my other eye. So excuse the fact that I look absolutely terrifying right now, but um, this is the mascara I use. Extra 3D Lash by Rimmel London. I quite like it to be fair. I'm quite funny with brushes, like uh, mascara brushes. They have to be kind of hard, if that makes sense. Not soft ones, if it'll focus. Let's see. Okay, it won't, but I don't know. You'll understand, I guess. Right, so now that I've put my mascara on, I'm going to use these lashes in the style Megan, my name. Um, they're sold by a company called Lix Lash UK. They're very, very affordable, great lashes. They're so pretty. And the girl that sells them is one of my dear friends. And she is so kind and so caring and if you like are a loyal customer she gives you little freebies too which is really cute um so yeah i'm just applying some i don't know how to pronounce this word but i've had a lot of mixed reviews on this um eyelash glue it's this one i get a lot of mixed reviews like i get told it pulls your eyelashes out and whatnot but i've not had any, any issues with it so i'm gonna use this and i'll be back in a second lashes are on I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm just going to quickly shove the other eye on and we'll see how this unfolds. So I've done the other eye and I'm quite happy, I won't lie. Um, it's very different. I'm going to show you a back camera view as well. So. so this is what it looks like on back camera. I absolutely love it. You see my smile? Eee. But that is a wrap and I'm very happy with it. I absolutely love this sunset eyeliner, I won't lie. But um, like, comment and subscribe, turn on notifications, all that shizzle. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.